Welcome to this third episode of this series. Today I will show you how I record and edit intros for my solo close-up shots of different champions. In order to make sure I get the champion to stay still in one position for a long period of time, I like to go for the training option in the game selection panel and choose practice tool. I create the game and add in my champion and just start recording from there. Here is where you should make your action that you would like to record. Since today we are making an intro for Akali, I would like to get a spinning motion that we are going to use in the same sequence we created in League Direct previously. This particular clip, I need Akali to be in the exact same spot every time. Therefore, I'm just recording the first 2 or 3 minutes at the beginning of the game, leaving the champion in starting position. After you download the replay, and play it. Open the League Director and just play the sequence you made in the previous tutorial again and again until we get the footage of all skins you would like. I'm going to use these skins. Next, we have to move to Premiere Pro. In this video, we are going to only work with Premiere Pro. After getting all your clips in your timeline, you can start editing. As you can see, my imported PNG clips are very slow and this is how I prefer to film my clips because I can always speed them up if needed. In this case, I decided I wanted my clips to be faster so I speed them up by 250%. We start by stacking the clips up like this. Next step is cutting the clips down to your own liking. In this clip, I try to keep at a 3 second interval for each skin and then cut another half second to mark the crashing over to the next skin. The half second, I speed up to 300%. At the end, I want the close up to change the skins too, so I make another series of cuts every 0.4 seconds and then a very fast descent to the last skin for a dramatic look. After everything is cut and ready, I'll just clean this up behind the scene and come back in a few seconds. Now that everything is cleaned up, it is time to make this blur flicker effect. And the way you do this is very simple. First you need to create a new adjustment layer. 
drag it to your timeline and trim it down to fit the section you sped up to at 300%. Go to the effect panel and look for Gaussian Blur and drag it onto the adjustment layer. Adjust the blurriness to your liking. I'm going for 24.0 and choose Blend Mode Linear Dutch. Next go to the point where the two clips change sequence and add a keyframe. Resize the adjustment layer so it will start just before the switch happens and end just after. Next, if you are happy with the results, copy paste the adjustment layer above each switch point, just like I did, and you are done. <coughs> to clone the effect, you can either use Ctrl C, Ctrl V, or just simply hold Alt press down and drag with your mouse and remember to release the mouse first, otherwise you will end up moving the clip instead of cloning it. Next, it is time to export. I usually export using the H.264 format and the match source high bitrate preset. And you're done! If you liked the video, please leave a like and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video.